Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So, today is my BoxyCharm unboxing. Um, if you don't know, BoxyCharm is a monthly subscription box for makeup and skincare and all that kind of stuff. Um, it retails, retails, it is $21 a month. It has a retail value of over $100 every month. And yeah, everything is full sized. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, as usual, I have not looked inside. I have not seen any of their online updates. I have no idea what is in here. So, this month, the theme is Cutie Pie. Let me open it up. I got a little Trevor Treasure Cove. God, I can't speak today. Of items. So, the first thing I see in here is this big tube. This is from Ofra. This is their body illuminizer. Okay. I suppose I can give it a try. What is this even? <sighs> Retails for $40. That's expensive. Um, this innovative all-over body lotion provides a gorgeous glowing coverage for your body while also providing healthy, illuminated, younger-looking skin. Goodness. This product is not a self-tan item. Okay. So, let's peel this open. doesn't really have a smell. Just put a dollop out. Um, okay, I mean that could be nice. It's got a little bit of an orangey tint to it, but uh, it, it could be nice. I'll have to give that a shot. Um, I don't know, it's not really my thing. I don't usually like to glow from the heavens all over my body. Um, but I'll give it a shot, see how it performs. Um, the next thing is this box. This is from Bare Minimals, the Prep Step Mineral Shield. Is this? No. Retails for $30. Okay, so this is basically just sunscreen. First of all, who the hell buys $30 sunscreen? That's excessive. Um, goodness. That is a lot more liquidy than I thought it was going to be. It's got like a little mixer in there. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this is basically just sunscreen. I... I don't understand. Do they really just put a bottle of sunscreen in here? A $30 bottle of sunscreen? I don't understand. Who... Who buys $30 sunscreen? Like, are people that bougie that they need a bare minimal... Bare... Bare minerals... Prep step daily prep lotion with SPF 50. Like, it's okay. Anyways, moving on. Like I said, that retails for $30. Um, next thing in here is this eyeshadow palette. This is from Blink, and I guess they collabed with BoxyCharm for this. And those are all shimmer. I, why do they keep giving us this? These palettes that are basically useless because they're all shimmer. We had that palette a couple months ago. The Real Her palette that had like two mattes in it. And actually no, they were like one matte and then a satin matte. And they were both... God, I can't... This might be the last month I'm doing this. I think I'm going to cancel this because honestly, this is terrible. Okay. Let me swatch. I mean, they're, they're very soft. They're very creamy. I mean, they're, they're gorgeous colors. Of course they're gorgeous colors. But like, I hate eyeshadow palettes. So you have to bring something else in on. 
I hate it. It drives me crazy. I don't want to have to pull out two different palettes to do one look. That's not what I want to do. That's not how I want to live my life. I'm a little salty with this damn box now. Like, this is just going downhill. They have, I haven't had a box that I've actually been impressed by in like two or three months. Like, what are they doing? What are they slacking on? I don't understand. Maybe they're building up to something. I don't, I really don't know. Okay, so the eyeshadow palette retails for $45. There's five shades in there. I'm gonna go with no. That's, that's way too expensive. Um, the next thing in here is this brow pencil by Winky Lux. This is the Unibrow Universal Eyebrow Pencil. Okay. It's one of those, uh, angled tips, like the Brow Definer by Anastasia. Ow. Ow. Okay, that is really dry. Like, actually is scratching my skin kind of dry. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, that's a big no for me. I'm not even gonna scratch the top of my eyebrows to try and put that on because that literally is hurting my skin as I'm just trying to draw a line. No. No, no, no. That's a big no. Last thing in here. This is a ultra matte lip from ColourPop. This is in the shade Monday. I've never tried anything lip related to ColourPop, so I've heard really bad things about their ultra matte lip. It's probably why they put it in this box because if it's going to be a terrible box, might as well put another product that doesn't have good reviews, right? I mean, it's a pretty color. That is a lot darker than what it is in the tube. Well, you can't see on the, on camera. It looks like it matches, but it doesn't match in person. Okay. Um, I, I mean, I'll give it a shot. It's a pretty color. It's right up my alley. It's what I wear on a normal daily basis. So I'll give that one a shot. But uh, yeah, all the rest of this is pretty much crap. I don't understand. Yeah, I'm canceling this. This is going to be the last one that I do of this because this is terrible. I don't understand why, how they thought that this was a good box, good enough to send out to people. Like, this is, no. Okay, so after that incredibly negative review, um, sorry guys, got a little intense there, got a little upset. Um, I mean, I spent $20 on this, so it's not a huge loss, but it's just kind of annoying because, I don't know, I feel bad throwing this stuff out, but, like, I've kind of touched it all, so I can't really donate it. I don't know. I'll figure out something to do with it. <laughs> so, I hope you guys at least found this mildly amusing with me ranting against BoxyCharm. It probably wasn't that great of a review, but if it was amusing, it was amusing. Uh, please subscribe before you leave. I promise I'm not always this negative and ranty, but it just seems like it's one of those days. So please subscribe before you leave and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.